Assalamualaikum student. Today we are going to perform 10th practical, practical number 11 from part 1. So here the aim of this experiment is to study the reaction of the metal, zinc, ferrous, copper and aluminium with the solution of the salt, zinc sulfate solution, ferrous, copper and aluminium sulfate solution and arrange this metal in the decreasing order of their reactivity. Perform this experiment, apparatus required are test tube and test tube stand, one beaker, a dropper and one petri dish. Perform this experiment, chemical and metals required are Fe metal that is ferrous metal, Cu that is copper metal, Zn that is zinc metal, zinc sulfate solution, aluminium sulfate solution, copper sulfate solution, FeSO4 solution that is ferrous sulfate solution. Let's start the procedure. First reaction with zinc metal. In this experiment, we required test tube, test tube stand, spatula, one dropper, zinc metal, copper sulfate solution, ferrous sulfate solution, and aluminium sulfate solution. In this particular experiment, zinc cannot react with its own salt, that is, zinc sulfate solution. So here we are going to take three other different solution in three different test tube. First we will add ferrous sulfate solution in our first test tube with the help of dropper. Take a solution with the help of dropper pour into the first test tube like this. After added ferrous sulfate solution in a first test tube, now we will add copper sulfate solution in a second test tube. Again, take a dropper, take a solution and pour into the second test tube with the help of dropper. So here, after added two salt of solution, now we will add last solution that is aluminium sulfate solution, pour into the third test tube. Again take a dropper, take a solution in a dropper and pour into the test tube like this. After added all three solution in a three different test tube, now we will add zinc metal in these three test tube, take a spatula and take piece of zinc metal and pour into the test tube like this After added zinc metal in three different solution, observe the reaction. Reaction with copper metal. In this experiment, repeat the same procedure which we did in a previous experiment. This is a copper metal react with three different solution like zinc sulfate solution aluminium sulfate solution and ferrous sulfate solution but copper does not react with its own solution that is copper sulfate solution so here we are going to take first ferrous sulfate solution now take a dropper and add 
few ml of ferrous sulfate solution pour into the first test tube with the help of dropper after added ferrous sulfate solution in a first test tube now we will add aluminum sulfate solution in a second test tube again take a dropper and add 2 to 3 ml of aluminum sulfate solution pour into the second test tube with the help of dropper like this so here in the last test tube we will add zinc sulfate solution take a dropper and add few ml of zinc sulfate solution pour into the test tube with the help of dropper like this after added all three solution in three different test tube now we will add pinch of copper metal put into the test tube with the help of spatula first we will add this metal in ferrous sulfate solution put into the tea test tube like this again we will add this metal in aluminum sulfate solution and last we will add this metal in zinc sulfate solution after added copper metal in three different solution observe for a minute after some time we observe that there is no reaction take place in three different solution you can clearly observe that there is no reaction take place so here we can say this the copper metal does not react with all three different solution so here this is the last method to identify the reactivity of metal so here we will used ferrous metal that is iron metal this metal react with three different solution like copper sulfate zinc sulfate and aluminum sulfate solution this ferrous metal does not react with its own salt that is ferrous sulfate solution so here we are going to take first copper sulfate solution in a first test tube so take a dropper and add few ml of copper sulfate solution in a first test tube pour into the test tube with the help of dropper like this after added in a first test tube copper sulfate solution now we will add zinc sulfate solution in a second test tube again take a dropper and add few ml of zinc sulfate solution in a test tube with the help of dropper after added two different salt of solution in two different test tube now we will add aluminum sulfate solution in a third test tube again take a dropper and add few ml of aluminum sulfate solution pour into the test tube with the help of dropper like this so here after added all three different salt of solution now we will add ferrous metal with the help of spatula take pinch of ferrous metal pour into the first test tube which contain copper sulfate solution like this again this metal we will add second test tube which contain zinc sulfate solution and lastly we will add this metal in third test tube which contain aluminum sulfate solution so
so here after added metal in this three different salt of solution we observe the reaction take place after perform all this experiment we observe that all four metals that is aluminum zinc iron and copper does not react with its own salt but react with different salt like aluminum metal react with zinc sulfate solution ferrous sulfate solution and copper sulfate solution similarly zinc metal does not react with aluminum sulfate solution but react with ferrous sulfate solution and copper sulfate solution so same for iron metal that is fes metal there is no reaction take place with the salt of aluminum and zinc sulfate solution but only reaction take place copper sulfate solution copper is displaced and the last metal that is copper copper does not react with any other three salt and its own salt that's it for the observation so here finally we conclude that the reactivity of metal the copper is less reactive as compared to iron metal iron is less reactive than zinc metal and zinc is less reactive than aluminum metal so here we can finally conclude that the aluminum is highly reactive metal and copper is least reactive metal